everyone it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel today I want to show you my version of making vintage faux kind of looking scotch tape and I don't know this may not be an original idea but it's original to me <laughs> I use um, tissue paper brown brownish um, tissue paper that I get in packaging I've never purchased any of it and I've always seemed to have enough um, and in getting ready for this video I thought well you know you might be able to use the white tissue paper that is so plentiful I never have um, I would think that if you would cut it down to a manageable size you could probably coffee stain it or tea stain it I just know that it's pretty fragile stuff this tissue paper but anyhow let me show you what I do and um, and then I'm going to show you some examples of where I've used it and um, my video has been acting up a little bit my camera so I'm hoping that I don't have any skips and jumps but um, if we do I apologize I'm going to try to do the best I can this is my third attempt at doing this video anyway I line up my steel ruler and a steel ruler is important they don't um, usually have nicks and stuff in them um, unless of course you want them to <laughs> um, you do it on purpose but I hold pressure right about the same point that I am getting ready to tear and I just go on and tear all the way down now I will say that when I do this and I get a piece of this paper I usually go ahead and tear the whole sheet up um, kind of gets it out of my way for what I know I'm going to do with it anyway <clears throat> all right so now that we've made that strip I then take my ruler and I just realized that I have black paint all over my fingers so I apologize ever since I've gotten this um, art studio slash she shed built I um, usually work on multiple things at one time because I can well go from one table to the other and let the last thing dry um, so anyway so I just tear this down sidetracked I just um, I tear this down to a size where I think will be manageable for me um, as far as it's going to be lengths that I uh, that I will use in my journals and uh, whoops didn't hold that one down too good see in these little strips if you don't put pressure where you're going to tear um, you won't get pretty good tears and I like doing the rough thing and not really um, cutting this with scissors because the old vintage tape it sometimes does have little nicks and stuff in it from all the years it's been in those um, books or whatever then I get just a little Ziploc bag and I go ahead and I save all of my pieces that I have prepared <laughs> that way they're in one spot I don't know about you but one of the hardest things for me in a journal is I'll sit down to make the journal get my signatures all done and now it's time to embellish and I try to make some ephemera ahead but you never quite know what you're gonna want um, and so sitting then and trying to embellish each of those pages or the majority of the pages whatever it, it, it's like I don't know it's like a monstrous task to me so anything that I can prepare ahead of time knowing that I can use it for the most part too in any journal is of great benefit to me um, so anyhow that's that um, get you some like beigey not quite brown tissue paper and it can have folds and bumps and tears and stuff on it it's okay and you're gonna cut it into strips you're going to um, use a steel ruler to do that and then you're going to tear it down even farther <laughs> excuse me so that's my little tip um, I guess one other thing that I was thinking about too is um, glue I just use art glitter glue but I kinda rub it on so that there's no clumps it's all pretty smooth um, because this is sort of transparent um, it will show any of the, stri um, the streaks and stuff so now let me show you some journals that I've done and um, this is the places that I've used them 
And um, here is um, an old fabric sample that I did. As you can see, I did some um, old tape in there and taped it on. I think it looks pretty cool. And then here is a Christmas journal that I did <clears throat> and um, put some tape on there. That's some of my homemade tape. And then this I wanted to bring in. This is a digital by Daisy at Tsunami Rose. And it's um, a junk journal kit digital that she put together. And she did some faux tape on her in her digital. So using tape is a pretty cool thing. So again, I just wanted to show those to you. So remember, I do a video every Tuesday evening, Eastern Time, 6 p.m. So come on back and see what I'm up to next time. And also I have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. And I also, of course, have my own Facebook page. I'm on Pinterest and I have a small shop on Etsy. So please come and check me out and see what I'm up to. And tell your friends, um, you know, I, I try to do a little bit of stuff for everybody, and I don't make super long videos. So I do appreciate you very much, and um, I'll catch you down the road. Please behave, and I'll see you next time. Bye.